hey, what's up, guys? Haven't really seen much of me in a while. Um, the last video I made was uh, not really me. It wasn't really a planned video. It was a test drop. So my friend Isaiah dropped his phone. We were just, I don't know, we were in front of CVS, stop and shop. We were bored, and I guess we just did it. I'm not really in the video any either. I, at the end, say subscribe. But anyhow, um... I'm going to start trying to make more videos, get this vid channel going again. I've been busy with my Wrestling Fortune 44 channel because wrestling's on so much that I sometimes don't have time to make these non-wrestling videos. And if I did have the time, uh, I'm usually working. I have a legit job now. And I usually am, uh... Yeah, I'm usually working and I hang out with my friends and stuff, so... Sometimes I only have time to get the wrestling videos up, but I'm going to try to get the non-wrestling videos up, get this channel going. I have Netflix now. I'm going to start making uh, TV shows like uh, The Walking Dead. I plan on doing a review series of that. Breaking Bad, even though that's over now, but I'm going to try to check it out, see if it's good. And other stuff, and I'm going to start doing movies. I'm going to get back on the track of doing the Nightmare on Elm Street series again. Uh, why it took me so long, why I stopped for so long is because I haven't had the time. And I'm starting to start watching Harry Potter movies. I'm going to read the books too. And I'm going to review series up it. And I'm going to review the book and the movie. So I'm going to be doing a lot, trying to get this channel going again. Um, so let's get to the original video that I was going to make. It's called, uh, it's going to be another SpongeBob SquarePants video. And it's season one, episode uh, 29. And this episode's called Karate Choppers. Um, and it came out on December 31st, 1999. Um, and this episode was good. I thought uh, I had some good stuff on it. Starts out with SpongeBob just kind of scaling around like... Like someone, like he's being like chased or something, and he had he ends up karate chopping his pineapple, thinking it's someone that he's looking for, and then um he walks in this house and we hear he's kind of tiptoeing and usually like hear ducks when you tiptoe, duck noises, but he's actually stepping on ducks, so he moves them out of the way, um and he thinks he hears somebody behind the couch, but there's nobody behind the couch. So then he just watches TV. Um, the fish makes a joke, but I don't remember what the joke is. Um, and then uh, that he's watching on the TV. And then he goes, I love this show. And then when you see that Sandy, um, I guess the person I was looking for, she goes, so she goes, me too. So it was kind of, So then they start fighting. They do karate. Um, I think this is the first episode you've seen him do that. Um, well, they, talk, they talked about it when they first met, but this is like the first time they've ever really done it, um, and they're starting, the, they're karate chopping each other, Spongebob doesn't have his gear on though, so he goes to get his gear, and he, Sandy wears green gloves, karate gear, and Spongebob wears red gloves, but he has a protective helmet, which he points out, and then, um, he ends up taking Sandy, um, rolls her up in like a bowling ball, and bowls her into the, uh, into the door, smashing the door, and she's like, I'm gonna get you tomorrow, Spongebob, he's like, yeah, that'll be the day, um, so Spongebob did then afterwards taunts, and then later on, I guess that night, Sandy's reading a book, and the phone wins, she answers it, and Spongebob's trying to sneak attack her, he puts his hand through the phone, which was kind of cool, um, and she ends up kind of reversing it, and, uh, ends up punching, Spon making Spongebob punch himself in the face, and his part of his arm still like in the phones was like in the shape of the phone, and she's like, "Nice try, Sponge Brain," and hangs up the phone. And then later on, Sandy's at the Bogan Mall. That's where they would. Go That's like the store. It's like a stop and shop. It's like a, mainly a food store, and uh, is uh, buying something. Um, and then SpongeBob says, "Hey, Sandy, ever heard the one about the squirrel and the tin cans?" She's like, I don't think so. And then Spongebob uh, says, well, it goes like this. And he starts stretching his arm around the store. He's like, oh, wait, I forgot the punchline. And then he punches, like, the floor. and or like, a like, like a board on the floor. 
and it ends up bouncing up, and it's the one that was Stan Sandy was sitting on, and then she falls, and tin cans fall on her, so she he wins that one, and then SpongeBob um is walking around, he's like, oh, talking about how beautiful what days is, and then he sees that there's tin cans, and I think he thought that it was Sandy, so he's like, um. That has to be a word disguise that he's like, no, I'm not SpongeBob. This is, and it's a mask of a squirrel, which I don't know why she would have that, because she is actually a squirrel. And she ends up grabbing SpongeBob's ton, and she's like, and she fills a hot toss, and um, she's like, and she when she goes to pour it down SpongeBob's, um, in SpongeBob's mouth, um. The hot so the drop of hot sauce ends up talking. I think SpongeBob was seeing this in his mind, and uh, he's like, "I all by the power invested in me, I declare this drop of hot sauce to be really hot." And then SpongeBob gives in. He gives up. He's like, "Victory is yours, Sandy." He's like, "Ah, oh, I knew you'd come around." So then she starts drinking the hot sauce, and we found out that the SpongeBob's ton was actually a toy, and he ends up um, tying her up and spins her around, and before he can really like take advantage of the situation, Spongebob, uh, when Sandy gets attacked, Sandy ends up attacking Spongebob, and he falls into town, he goes, curses, so that was good, and then afterwards, Spongebob's at work, and the Krusty Krab's very busy, and, uh, what ends up happening is, uh, Squidward tries to get him to go to work, but Spongebob ends up attacking, I guess, looking for Sandy or something, and then, um, Oh shit, I probably should have plugged that in. Sorry, I did something. I plugged my phone in and something came up. Uh, I can't really exit it out. Um, but then, um, he's like, I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen and yells at him to fill the orders because they're very busy. And then SpongeBob makes the patties, he's gonna deliver it. And, um, he sees someone swatting a fly. And, um, he imagines it like it's Sandy practicing karate, testing Spongebob, uh, or teasing Spongebob. So he goes and attacks the guy, and he's like, thought you could sneak up, on me or, sneak up on me at work, did you? Well, you can't. And when Spongebob went to attack my the, the the karate's fall on Squidward's head, and it looks like that he actually has hair. And Spongebob's Sponge like, oh, you got the hair piece after all. And then Mr. Krabs sees what he had done, he's like, what was that? He's like... But sir, she snuck on up on me on my own dojo. He's like, are you on some new allergy medication, boy? And he talks about how he's just practicing karate. Um, and he's like, and he says it like karate. And Mr. Krabs like, you should be making me money, eh, with your special, eh? So he's like, all right, Cappy Tay. And then he's like, hey, Squidward, ask for hair piece. And then later on, Squidward asks him if uh, he washed the bathrooms, and he's like. Yes, sir. I mean, ma'am. I mean, boss. I mean, who blah. He's like, go. So I guess he didn't end up doing it. Because he got distracted by the karate. Then when he goes to swap the bathroom, he has somebody sneeze in the stalls. And, um, he goes to, uh, to investigate. And he ends up, uh, attacking him. And it was Mr. Krabs. I guess Mr. Krabs fought him off. And he warns him that if he ever does karate again, he's fired. Um... So, so, Spongebob is worried that he has to tell Sandy. He doesn't know what to tell her. Then, um... Sandy ends up coming up, attacking Spongebob with karate. And Sandy, Spongebob's telling him that he's trying to tell her that he can't do it, but she thinks it's a trick. And then Mr. Krabs, I guess, sees Sandy doing it, and he fires Spongebob. When, uh, for no reason. He's like, I, told, I thought... I, what did I just get through telling you? And fires him. I don't know why he fired him. Um, it really didn't make any sense. He didn't see Spongebob do anything. I don't know what the hell was going on with that. So then Spongebob's upset, obviously, you know, because he got fired pretty much for no fucking reason. Um, and he's crying. He ends up uh, absorbing it. Cries, and, cries into a cup and drinks it, which was a nice scene. I liked that. Sandy apologizes, tell him that uh, he tried. Uh, he tried to tell me, but I wouldn't listen. So she asks, begs Mr. Krabs to give him another chance, and he agrees. Tells him no more karate, it poisons your mind. So um, they're gonna. So Sandy and SpongeBob are up disappointed, but 
Then they try to look on the positive side. Oh, I was getting old anyways. I mean, what's so fun about this? And she ends up doing it. SpongeBob Labs, like, nothing's fun about that at all. And they're going to find something tons of times that's fun. Um, SpongeBob's like, oh, we could squeeze it. And he grabs a walk and squeezes it. He's like, how much fun is that? He's like, almost some. And then she's like, we can act like plants. Goes, photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, which was like a line that people would use at school. One my and my friends would use. And then um, she's like, want to go to the park? They go to the park and uh, they kind of make fun of karate. Says, um, she's like, no more karate. I'm glad I gave up karate. I felt karate is so dumb. I feel dumb just thinking about it. I think trying to maybe think, look on the positive that they have to give it up. And then um, they see somebody um, fishing and he's casting and he goes, hi, yeah, kind of, hi, yeah. And it looked like karate, and then Sandy mentions, and they pretend they don't know what it is, and then uh, SpongeBob ends up. Uh, they're gonna make a sandwich, and uh, she asks Sandy, like I guess he asks Sandy what she wants on a sandwich, and she says karate. He's like, what did you say? He's like, oh, I want muscle on my sandwich, and uh, yeah, so I guess they still think about it, and then. Uh, he ends up cutting the uh, barnacles, I guess, which was like the meat that they would use. And he's, SpongeBob's cutting it like it's a, like karate chopping it. So then Sandy sees that he's doing this, and she wants to do it herself. She ends up doing it. And then uh, I guess they really like doing it, so I guess she continued. They uh, cut everything, the lettuce, the cheese, the I think the onions, I'm not sure. And then uh, they're gonna, SpongeBob's just about to, and they see this, and this worm tries to come out and he gets gets pissed that they're making so much noise. But then a bun falls on him, which was awesome. And then um, one thing led to another, and then uh, the SpongeBob's about to eat one, and then uh, Sandy has a karate gear on, which like I don't know why she bought it. I guess maybe she couldn't resist. And they both have the karate gear on, and then they start fighting. And then Mr. Krabs walks up by with his umbrella. Coincidence, right? That was totally set up. And then the, the the whole park's destroyed. The bridge, there's a tree, everything. The park's just destroyed. And then someone was like, do you think Mr. Krabs ever does karate? And then Mr. Krabs sees it and he's like... <clears throat> and then um, SpongeBob's like trying to fix up, make it look like the park's not destroyed. He's like, hey, nice. Mr. Krabs, how's it going? Nice day, huh? And SpongeBob's upset, he's like, oh, alright, Mr. Krabs, you caught me. I guess you're just gonna have to fire me, because I just can't help myself. And then uh, Mr. Krabs is like, fire you, I got something else in mind. So back at the Krusty Krab, they're doing the same thing. They're karate chopping the patty meat, they karate chop the lettuce, everything. And Mr. everyone talks about how they love karate. Sp Mr. Krabs says, I love money. And then uh, Squid was just like, I hate all of you. And then that's how the sh episode ended. So I thought it was a good episode. I liked seeing the karate stuff that they did with SpongeBob and Sandy. And no one really looked overpowered, really. Like, they they equally balanced them out. The struggle that they had to deal with, like, SpongeBob having to do karate, that made the episode good. So I really liked this episode. Um, And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, yeah, you're going to start seeing videos of uh, other videos like this. I'm going to try to make many more videos on this channel. Um, maybe after um, I come back from North Carolina. Because I'm going to North Carolina next week. So that's all I have to say about that. Um, just follow all the stuff down below. Um, you can subscribe to this channel on the Talkinator. I'm kind of tired so I don't really feel like. But just subscribe to this channel. I don't really feel like saying all the stuff down below. You just click it and do it. That's all I have to say. Peace.